Hello fellow key folks and travelers, my name is Traveler, and today we'll be talking about the Moon Rose with my friend Baby Cakes. Baby Cakes, can you introduce yourself? Hello, welcome to the channel. I am called Baby Cakes because I, I voice act a little creature that is a free key book named Baby Cakes. Now, the Moon Roses are a thing that me and Baby Cakes created a while back ago. Moon Roses are basically fluffy roses with a moon on top of them. Uh, design, design wise, um, the first design uh, we, me, me and her created were based off our two characters, uh, Black Rose and Luna Wizard. Now we, oh, that's yes, they're very old. <laughs> Now, uh, jeez, jeez, I'm old already. <laughs> Tell me about it. Now, when they were when they were created, we uh, had to branch out our ideas because I'm a more creative drawer and she does more realistic. So we went our separate paths. Eventually, mine won the vote on which is one what's better. Even though it was just you know a moon with four giant leaves. Yes, as you can tell from this drawing that's playing in the background. Now then, Moon Roses are from the world of Malu, which the residents, the key folk residents, like to um, plant, grow, and harvest the moon on top of them, which is called a moon fruit. They use it for many recipes. They even use the petals for festivals. You know, they just toss them around because they tend to give a glow. Now, my fellow... <laughs> now my fellow partner here, uh, Baby Cakes, decided to create more multiple moon roses because there are five different kingdoms, mainly the four kingdoms having their own unique twist. Now, Baby Cake, uh, we will be talking about the four different types of moon roses that you created so far. Whenever, uh, um, see, like, the, the moon part seems to, like, actually, like, act like an eye in some way, from what you tell me, and it's able to hiss at any near coming, uh, well, re um, residents. The monsters, anything that sees as a threat, but honestly, it sees everything as a threat. Now, from, I know, the original moon rose is the symbol of love. What's the, um, what's the meaning behind the crimson one? Of course, it has each uh, ba -ba -da -ba. the crimson devil moon rose represents like a chaotic form of love, like love that goes to extremes. Like, you would do anything for this person, like anything to destruct the world to kill some. So, full, know, just full on yonder, <laughs> full on yonder. <laughs> Now, the Crimson Devil Moon Rose can be found in the Kingdom of the Blackberries of Ignite, 
It's the red. It's a red kingdom with four crystals growing out of the ground. The next moon rose we'll be talking about is the blue angelic moon rose. I think this is the first variant you created. What was the first variant? I was going for like once the blue moon vibes, and I don't know I feel like I achieved it in some way. Because it looks so heroic, it looks so peaceful, but it's so mysterious in so many ways. Like, it was, it was like, hmm, I wonder what color should I do it? It is you don't see this guy very often, it's very interesting. <laughs> Oh, oh yes, yes. Uh, moon roses have the innate ability of uh, basically lifting themselves off the ground and going to different locations, mainly staying their 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 own area where they grew up, where they grew up from. If they try to go to other places, they have a hard time with themselves. <laughs> yeah, they have the sort of get, like adapt to the environment. Now I'm o I'm also curious because um. The blue angelic moon rose has angel wings, while the crimson devil moon rose literally has demon wings. I like, is there like a hate relationship here between them? <laughs> and what's like, what does it symbolize for the the angelic one? I need to pull that up. Where is my doubt? <laughs> Take your time. Uh, they will see the, the. I mean, in the background, the, the, the drawing is still going up there. All. <laughs> By the way, this drawing is from our lovely friend here, Baby Cakes. She's an amazing yeah. artist. I will link her Instagram in the description, along with mine, maybe. Maybe I don't know. I haven't decided. <laughs> so the blue moon rose represents free love. So anyone loving anyone, basically, if you're a pansexual. Anyway, uh, this moon rose can be found in the spiral of Lex Kingdom. In the blue ocean, mainly. Bunch of islands, really. <laughs> um, the next moon rose we'll be talking about is the green electric moon rose. This moon rose can be found in Meteor Valley, uh, um, an area of science. With and Within the oceans, there are known to have meteor crash sites. Um... And this is the moon. This this is where this moon rose uh, adapted to become well, this moon rose variant. See, yeah, this moon variant is mostly related to science-y, space themed. Since the what was that place called again? Meteor the Valley. Meteor Valley is mostly with asteroids. So, like if you see from above you, Meteor Valley looks like there's there's a lot of meteor strikes on it. So it kind of represents the moon itself there, and since it's mostly science, it will make sense for it to be like a space theme to elevate themselves to the moon, to the sky, <laughs> and, and it just developed that way. You actually even asked for my advice on this one. I think it's the first one you asked advice for. Um, it, it was. I had a hard time deciding if I should make it like a holy or a space theme. Honestly, it was, I. It was very hard. Honestly, I thought you'd go for like more like the electrical thing, cause you know science. But I, I really like the way you went with this design. Uh, in my in my personal opinion, I like the little ring going around it, and like how it's basically attached to the moon. Yeah, it's, it's supposed to represent like you know a planet, like Saturn in our universe, like a like an actual planet on its own space field. Like, even the petals around the moon floats up towards the moon. So it has a little gravity of some sort. Hmm, interesting, interesting, lovely idea. Now, for our final moon rose, known as the Purple Fairy Moon Rose, this moon rose can only be located in Beetle Pride, the Purple Kingdom. Now, 
I know this is your favorite variant of the Moon Rose. Uh, unless you want to tell your audience why it's your favorite and what did you do with yourself when you finally drew it out? <laughs> want to tell our lovely viewers what you did once you uh you, you decided to do something upon yourself on that part but that's up to you well, since I, since I like the color purple specifically plum and since i love the design of the moon road so much tattooed it on myself it was it was a glorious day <laughs> <laughs> it was a beautiful moment for me because it reminded me of who i am and, and how much of a fancy sucker i am all right, now for uh, I don't think we got the symbolism for the green electric moon rose. Uh, what's the symbolism for that one and the purple moon rose? Um, the green moon rose symbol is the uh, love and to actually go this route because I mean it, it, it just gives the world more personality and the kingdoms more personality in my personal opinion but to be honest I do like the folklore for the Malu Moon Rose which is basically a kid's tale that the kids tell themselves of a legendary moon rose that's co basically the combination of all four, five moon roses combined into one they say it's so mythical whoever eats it Great power, but we don't even know what that even means because kids are kids. I mean, it could be real, could be, you know, just, just a tall tale. Just a mythical story, a folklore, a legend. But then kids, you know, how they are. Big yeah. thoughts come with big brain moments. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's pretty much it for the Moon Roses. Uh, we really hope you like the designs and the ideas of the Moon Rose, and, well, just love the idea of love itself, in a way. Gotta spread it some way or another, am I right? Gotta. Got to. Anyway, I, <laughs> I do hope you, uh, you fellow viewers enjoy the rest of this lovely drawing for our artist here, Baby Cakes. Hey, yes, yes. Any final words? If you love art, draw it. If you like blue roses, draw it. If you like anything else, draw it. Draw everything. Draw everything. Draw the planet. Sorry, that was true. <laughs> All right. Well, take care of yourself, baby kings. And to you, key folks and travelers out there, keep on adventuring. <laughs>